Welcome to Christ Center Gamers' latest unboxing of Turtle Beach's newest headset. Well, we've had a few that are released around the same time, but this one is particularly special. Why, you may ask. First of all, I guess before I get into that, thank you, Turtle Beach, for sending this to us to review. Now, I am a bit of an audio nut, as you've probably figured out. I like reviewing headsets, but I also really enjoy reviewing headphones and other audio devices. I love good sound. But this one is particularly special for a few reasons. For one, it's the first time in several years since long before I have started reviewing for Turtle Beach, Turtle Beach's products um, in 2021, I think, that they've released a new Atlas. So that's a big deal by itself. The second thing about it is this is a PC gaming centric headset, but it is also uh, supposed to be, um, I guess you could say, audiophile-ish, probably the closest thing they have to an audiophile um, headset. And the reason I say that is for a few, a few reasons. Uh, one is, is that it has 24-bit 96 kilohertz audio for their wireless connectivity, which is a big deal. Um, that is not common in Turtle Beach's product line. It's actually, I think this is the only one that does that of their entire product line to, to as far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah, that's pretty bit, much a big deal. Also, it's the first headset in quite a few years that has had a 3.5 millimeter input jack and wireless on the same headset. So that's pretty cool too. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get a started here. So here's the good front of the box. Now, a few things to notice about this headset. Uh, it has a suspension headband, which I love suspension headbands. So I'm hoping this is as comfortable as they say. Also, it's the world's first floating ear cup design, according to them. So that sounds kind of neat. Uh, if you look right here in the picture, you can see that there's little rubber bands of sorts connecting to the headset. So hopefully that means it just kind of floats in place and uh, and is comfortable. So we'll see how that is. Uh, wireless. 2.4 gigahertz wireless plus Bluetooth plus 3.5 millimeters, I mentioned before, so that's awesome. Also, these are open back. Now, I love open back headphones. I have several. I have uh, some, some regular dynamic drivers, which these are. I have uh, planar magnetics. I even have electrostatic headphones that are open back. So a lot of audiophile targeted headphones use open back because they sound, well, more open. I mean, it all sounds silly, but they sound more like speakers on your head than an enclosed, you know, headphone. So a lot of us audio nuts really love open back headphones. So I'm really excited to check these out. Uh, the, I believe the retail price is 179 for these. So anyway, all right. And then here is the specs or the kind of the promotions on the side, up to 50 hours of battery life, which is really good. High fidelity audio mode, uh, 20 to 40K figure response, lightweight, glasses friendly, and compatible with PC, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, mobile, and Xbox via 3.5 millimeter. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here's a picture of the back. All right. I'll see if there's anything I haven't covered yet. 40, 40 millimeter drivers, uh, flip up microphone, which I really like that. Oh, it's detachable as well, which is cool. Uh, the floating headband design, which I mentioned on the ear cup. Uh, the quick switch button, so this presses a button to switch between Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it, it supports Waves 3D audio. Uh, Swarm 2 software is it also uses. Um, high bandwidth microphone with 32 kilohertz uh, microphone performance. Noise canceling microphone. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, here's also the bottom. It includes quite a lot of stuff. Um, Few things to note, it includes um, the headset, a USB -A transmitter, detachable microphone plus windscreen, uh, charging cable and a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and a carrying pouch. I love carrying pouches headphones, really. I know it sounds silly, but I just do. And a quick start guide. And so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz for frequency response on the driver, which is more than all of us can hear, but it's okay. And the microphone is 100 hertz to 16 kilohertz, which is pretty good. So. Yeah, I'm excited. So let us take the sharp object and break this thing open. Actually, I might not even need a sharp object. Look at that. It's got a tear away tab. So let's go ahead and tear away the. It did not open with the tear away tab. 
So I'm just going to use the sharp object after all. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. There we are. Okay. All right. So we got this little top O box. I get this thing open. Sheesh. It really doesn't want to open. Oh, is it pulling out? Maybe that's. Oh, there's another one on the bottom. Let's see if this one comes apart. Yes. No. Only partial success. These tearaway tabs are failures, guys. I'm kidding. Mostly. All right. So let's see. I try not to break boxes when I open them. Some people like their boxes. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. All right. So now. Does this just come apart? Oh, it's got a door and another cutaway tab I didn't even notice. See, I am just failing on this unboxing process of unboxing today. Okay. Okay, right, we've got this almost done. Well, this open. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, now let's open it like so. There it is. Okay, it is in the carrying case. Very nice. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, we've got the carrying case. This is uh, this is really nice. I love these soft bags. Very good. You can tell it's a premium product when you include that. Got a little literature packet, which is nice. Got some books in there. Then we have what I'm assuming is the microphone. It's got double both sides of it. I have little things on it, but there's also this guy, the filter. So you put this on here. I think the reason they do this is for natural noise canceling. So you have a microphone on the front and the rear of the microphone exposed to the back. And then the rear of the mic kind of noise cancels what's going on outside of the microphone. I think that's the trick. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Here's the little connector. It's not really proprietary, but good luck finding a replacement. It's sort of right here. It's got little notches in there and so on. All right, and we've got here a 3.5 millimeter cable, which I'd love to see in the box. It is a four pole, so you can use it with your phone or actually that is a somewhat proprietary connection. Huh. So this 3.5 millimeter end is your standard audio plus, um, uh, what do you call it, microphone connection. But this side is a five pole. I wonder if it supports balance connection with this connector. I'm gonna have to research this. Um, yeah. Sorry, my audiophile brain is working. But yeah, this is not a standard 3.5 millimeter connector. Um, this probably would require a custom cable, left, right, left, right, and then, or I'm sorry, Left ground, right ground, and microphone. Probably shared ground on that. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how this works. What makes this cable special? And if there's, if you can buy more like this. I'm really curious about this now. Anyway, all right. Oh, you know what I just realized? This cable isn't just a cable. It also has a, mic, a volume wheel. I don't know if it's microphone volume or just volume volume. But it has a volume wheel on it as well. There you go. Kind of a nice looking volume wheel, honestly. I just wonder if this works with regular cables or if it's only this cable. Um, see, it's got a little thing that says this end has to connect to headset. So I wonder I wonder about this cable. I'm gonna have to spend some time with it and figure out, does it work with regular cables? Uh, is, it, is it balanced on this end? I'm gonna take my multimeter to it. So yeah, this is kind of interesting. This will, this will be a fun little experiment to figure out what this, how this works. Um, oh, we got a transmitter in here. Our little Turtle Beach transmitter. This is the new style that they're going with with their 2024 model years. And this one does say Atlas Air on it. It's just a tiny print. I, I don't really see that, but just in case. There you go. And last but not least is in this box. Got the things. Got some stuff to eat, but I'm going to leave that for lunch. And. <clears throat> This is our nice braided charging cable. Uh, it's not rubber, it's, it's braided. So it's a sharp looking cable. And it's got a nice Velcro wrap, which I, again, I always appreciate. 
Okay, so let's get to the goods. We've got the friendly pouch, which is pretty nice. It's not as thick as the one in the Stealth Ultra, but I think that's what it is. There's so many model names with Stealth on it, but it does it does feel nice. It's a little thinner, but it's still nice. And okay, okay, here we go. All right, so a few things. Here is what the floating cups they're talking about. And the other side as well. Uh, it looks like this side has a wheel, probably for volume, I'm guessing. Uh, and then there's this, what, what looks like the microphone connection. So let's see how that fits. Okay, so that fits in there. Then it goes up like that. Isn't that cool? And uh, yeah, sure, it's, you know, that's interesting. This does come out, as we said earlier, it is detachable. But. When it swings out, I'm trying to swing off. There we go. You can see when it swings out, it sticks out. So you're probably going to want to push it in when you take it off, if you take it off. But yeah, so so that's the microphone. Um, there we go. And it does bend a little bit, which is nice. All right, and we've got the controls on the back. So we've got, it looks like a Bluetooth button right here. The charge cable, the 3.5 millimeter. The source switch most likely and the volume I'm sorry the power button this does not click it's just a wheel um let's see here a few other things um it looks like this stretches I love this look and feel oh man is it nice. all right do these swivel they do not swivel so uh but they they kind of move so you don't need to swivel because they they float that's interesting so here is the right cup and here's the left this is a very soft fabric very soft it's also a round cup which means it's probably easier to swap out these pads with the third party ones if you wanted to um but i don't know if i would need to for this um it looks like this strap can be adjusted is that velcro all right so on the inside you've got these little it's very hard to show uh but you've got right here You've got this little piece of strap, right? And this, this Velcro, and you can raise and lower this to increase or decrease the tension. I'm gonna leave it at default for right now, um, which I guess would be the third notch, but you can raise and lower it, which is great. And it's a coolest design to adjust the tension. So let's go ahead and put this on my head and see how it fits. Oh, this is like pillows on your head. This is awesome, um, and I do need to loosen it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now because I do have a large noggin. So I'm going to go to its something close to its largest setting. So you can see it's got a little more slack here. I'm going to do it on this side as well. Okay, and now you can see it's kind of loosening. See, right there. So now this is higher up, and I'm going to go and put it on my head again. Oh yeah, there it is. Yep, this is a this is a headset designed for adults. Um, this this is big and comfy. Oh yeah, and uh, let's see, we've got the little pack, the baggie, and it's got a spot for cables, which I think is great. A little mini pouch for cables, awesome. So that means you should not hopefully lose the transmitter. <laughs> I wish the heads, headsets would include a place to put transmitters. Like it's it's common for me to like on a lot of these headsets to actually it's come off and no, it doesn't look like it does. Um, to like put a piece of Velcro on the side, but I don't know if I want to do this with this gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what it sounds like real quick. I'm not going to spend, you know, an hour listening to it with you guys just staring at me, but I do want to spend a quick moment just to verify. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Okay. And then my, I have one of the last phones with 3.5 millimeter. So it does fit in there. All right. And I've got my music up. My good Petrucci. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so it's this fine. I'm not sure if this is doing anything or not. What well, with 3.5 millimeter? This song kind of ramps up in volume, so it's kind of hard to tell yet. Oh, it's loud. Wow. This doesn't do anything. 
This thing, okay, this this phone gets super loud. Not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, this is good, guys. I'm going to spend some time with this, but... Um, Yeah, I'm not so with this, but I'm 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 smiling. All right, this is cool. I'm really excited to, to give this a full shakedown, compare wired and wireless modes, um, see what all the features are, I'll play with the microphone, all that good stuff. But the fact that it's a 3.5 millimeter jack, and then my phone can drive it uh, to deafening levels of volume. That's great. A lot of these headphone headsets uh, have a have a volume limiter in them, but if you can bypass it with 3.5 millimeter. That's great. Anyway, all right. I'm excited. Uh, this this could be this could be my headset for the year. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, thanks for for watching and uh, take care and God bless. Have a, have a great day.